Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Autocar India Quick News, your weekly update on all the big launches, all the hot scoops and all the news in the world of automobiles. But before we begin, do remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos. Let's start off with the big launch this week, it's the Renault Kyger. Let's have a look at what the prices are and what the small SUV brings to you. The new Renault Kyger, the twin to the Nissan Magnite, gets a 1-litre engine either naturally aspirated or turbocharged. While both get a 5-speed manual, the naturally aspirated version gets an AMT while the turbo gets a CVT automatic gearbox. It also comes with an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Prices for the Kyger start at Fi like 45,000 rupees, making the most affordable compact SUV in India and go all the way up to 9,55,000 rupees for the top spec variant. Now, a couple of automakers launched a few new variants to their existing cars this week. Let's take a look at what those variants are. BMW launched a new variant of the X3 in India. It is called the X3 X-Drive 30 Sport X. And the new variant packs a 2 litre 252 horsepower engine priced at 56,50,000 rupees X showroom. It gets features like a display key, LED door projectors, and a wireless charger. Power is put down through an 8 speed automatic and all wheel drive. It also gets an 8.8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, LED headlamps and a panoramic sunroof. Volkswagen launched a new entry-level variant to the Polo and the Vento. These new variants, called the Turbo Editions, are based on the Comfort Line trim and offer a gloss black spoiler and mirrors, alloy wheels and two-tone seat covers. The Polo is priced at rupees and the Vento is priced at rupees. Now for all of you waiting for a new Jeep SUV with 7 seats, here's some exclusive auto car news about this upcoming car. Codenamed the H6, Jeep's new 7-seater SUV is based on the Compass and will have its global unveil later this year and will be launched in India in the first half of 2022. The new SUV will have the same underpinnings as the Compass and will have a more powerful version of the 2-litre diesel making about 200 horsepower. It will also be longer to accommodate the extra row of seats. This new SUV will be made in India and just like the Compass, Jeep will use its Chakan manufacturing facility as a right-hand drive production hub. The Skoda Kushak will have its global unveil in India on March 18, 2021. The new SUV as seen in these design renders is a handsome and upright SUV with typical Skoda design language like a split headlamp and a large grille. The new Kushak will be based on the new MQB A0i N platform and will get a 1.0-litre and 1.5-litre TSI engine. It will be competitively priced considering the fact that Skoda has managed 93% of localization levels. Let's move on to two wheels now and the big launch of the week, the Honda CB350 RS. The new Honda CB350 RS has been launched at 196,000 rupees X showroom Pan India. The CB350 RS is based on the same platform as the Honda Highness CB350, sharing the same frame, engine and other components. It does get a sportier design though as compared to the Highness, but the same 349cc engine making 20.8 horsepower and 30 newton meters of torque. It also gets a wider tyre at the rear. All in all, we think the CB350 RS will open up a larger market for Honda in India. And now in the eye candy of our week, this is one of my favourite segments. We have not one but two cars this week. First up, it's the Porsche 911 GT3. But before we start rambling on about the specs or the performance, let's just listen to it for the next few seconds. That is the 4-litre 911 RSR race car derived motor that revs to a mighty 9,000 RPM, making 510 horsepower. The car also comes with a vented bonnet, updated aero and a swan neck rear wing that makes it the most aggressive looking 911 GT3 ever made. 0 to 100, just 3.4 seconds and a top speed of 320 km per hour for the manual and 318 for the PDK automatic. Expect to see a fair few of these make it to India soon. What a spectacular car, but if that isn't spectacular enough for you or if that isn't quick enough for you, this is the new McLaren Artura. The new McLaren Artura is McLaren's first new HPH or High Performance Hybrid Series and is the replacement for the 570 family. 
The new Artura makes a total of 680 horsepower and 720 Newton meters of torque. The 3 liter twin turbo V6 makes 585 horsepower and 585 Nm, while the electric motor, which is powered by a 7.4 kilowatt hour battery, makes 95 horsepower and 225 Newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 takes just 3 seconds flat and 200 comes up in 8.3 seconds while 300 km per hour comes up in just 21.55 seconds. The Artura has a top speed of 330 km per hour and gets an electric range of 30 km. Those are impressive figures all around bundled up in a car that belongs on a poster with those drop dead gorgeous looks. And that's all the time we have for you this week. As always, do remember, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week.